Ever since this place was abandoned, strange beasts have moved in. Stay close. This place has been abandoned for so long that some fate weavers think it's just a legend. The theater can show us the whole tapestry of fate, laid bare. We can do nothing to change it, or prevent its horrors. Well, most of us can't. After all those years of hiding in a bottle, it's good to see some action again. If only one last time.
We're almost there. Or at least as far as I can take you. I've seen this. This moment. I'm sorry, my friend. This is as far as I can take you. Supposed to? Do you have any idea what you've done? What sort of power you're playing with? You absorbed everything he was, everything he would do, change the weave of destiny itself. Because of you, there are deeds he won't do, children of his that won't be born, victims that won't die when they were supposed to. Right now? No, you probably saved both our lives. But there's no way to tell what larger changes you've made in the fate of everyone around you. You are much more dangerous than I thought. We need to get you to the Theater of Fate right away. Theater of Fate. I never thought I'd see it. We Fate Weavers never fully understood the power of this place. Seems there's a lot we don't understand. Scum? Guards, I should have brought another bottle. <laughs> No surprise that Niskaru found its way to this place of power. Everything about these ruins is dedicated to this room, and at the center of it all is the Destiny Stone. With it, the Fae taught the Fate Weavers the answers to the deepest mysteries of fate. Put your hands on the stone. 
And maybe we can find answers to your own mysteries. Just put your hand on the Destiny Stone. It'll show me where fit into the Tapestry of Fate. The Destiny Stone came apart at your touch, and all around you the tapestry of fate, unweaving itself. And there at the core was the Codex of Destiny, the wisdom that the Fae used to help the first fate weavers understand the nature of the weave. Don't you see what this means? Small price to pay for the Codex of Destiny. If we can find a way to read that, it might help us understand something about you. But for now, just understand this. You're changing the fate of everyone you meet. That could make you more powerful than anything that's walked this world. No. You can still die or fail. But fate doesn't enforce the weave on you. Your gift is freedom, to you and to those around you. And that means I owe you a... What's that? Purge the abomination! In the name of Godflaw, attack! <laughs> well, this looks like some fun. you? How do we know you're not working with the Tawatha? I don't care if you trust me. I'm much more interested in your friend here. You're welcome. Wait a minute! I'm beginning to think that these Tawatha don't like you. Now why do you think that might be? After all, someone who can change the fate of the world, who wouldn't want you? Enough to know you're something special. Far more interesting than you were before you died. And that's saying quite a bit. Now it's my turn. What are you doing here? Is that so? If your wanderings are going to change the fate of everyone you meet, you should be a little more careful. Still, your wanderings led you to find the Codex of Destiny. And here we thought it was lost to this world. Good luck understanding it. That's fey knowledge. They don't even know it in language. The stone itself is embedded with what they know, unseeable to mortals. Normally, I'd suggest looking in Issa, but the fey are not fond of unexpected guests. Don't look so sad. There's still hope. When you're ready, meet me at the house We can't trust her. Never met a Dark Alfar who'd give me a straight answer, even with a sword at their present company except What's wrong about that Codex? Just be careful doing anything she suggests. 
Meanwhile, we can't just ignore the Tawara tracking you. We need to do something about them. But that doesn't mean she's our enemy, either. You need someone to look at that Codex. And only the Fae would understand it. And she was right about tracking those... Meet me at Dighton Hill. And I think I could follow them back to wherever they've made... I've got the rights to perform before I leave this place. Good luck. Brash, dustling. You have no role in telling. This story belongs to one of us, not some fresh from the cradle. That strange maiden, now this. What is it you want, Gorgoath? Agros is a twisted tale, and we could use every available hand. Day, but the seat will never be mortal. Of that I am certain. We were too late to catch the thresh as it fed. Now the beast slumbers guarded by the vines and weeds of Gorgoath. But all is not lost. If we can destroy the roots before they take hold, we can rouse the beast. Come, I'll keep the thresh occupied while you with the heart finds. Keep your eyes open.
Sir Sagral was a clever rogue of great and merry cheer. Oh, come and listen to the song of he who had no fear, of he who we hold dear. Sometimes he drank his weight in wine, and many lovers pleased, and drunk from such idle pleasures, with lethargy was seized, on beds of grass he eased. How can this be? Sir Sagral dead? I do not understand. Such a tragedy has never occurred in this song. Not in all the seasons of the telling. At the end of this ballad, Sagral defeats the Grave Thresh. He's victorious. How, oh, but someone has chained Sagral. Alone. This.
A child of dust has defeated the grave thresh. What a tale you've claimed for yourself, my friend. Granted, the seat of Michael and all privilege who, including membership in the court of Inch. Alas, there is no time for celebration. There has been another incident. The king has asked for you. Excellent. Speak with King Wenson in the oratory. It stands on the crest of Ettenmere, where it once hosted the lords and ladies of the High Court. Take this potion. You will need it to revive Sir Ferrara. Unless mortals have suddenly created a method of resurrection, it's our only option. Know when the time has come to use it. Now go, King Wenson. The telling ends now. Port of enchantments march south to face the threat and to quell rumors. They house oratory in Ettenmere. Farewell. Well.